I'm here with Devil Zone from Sault Ste. Marie. How long was the drive here? It was about eight hours. We left at four, uh -huh. five o'clock in the morning. We got here about three, uh -huh. so it was a really good trip. We were very anxious to be here and to have a good time and participate in this uh, wonderfully put together uh, bout and we're just really excited to be here. It's our very first bout for seven of our girls. Very first? Yeah. So you're all just starting out in Derby and Sault Ste. Marie. Yeah. How does that feel to be uh, kickstarting something new in your city? Um, it's been a challenge. Uh, it, it's been ongoing for about three years uh -huh. that we've been trying to put put it together. Um, but up north is really starting to grow. Thunder Bay has got a league going. Um, Sudbury's pulling one together, even North Bay is trying to get one together. So we might just have enough in the northern area to have like a north-south kick-ass kind of Definitely sport. a robbery. Our first season we, have, we haven't really played too many teams, it was oh, basically yeah. scrimmaging ourselves. Uh -huh. But uh, we, we uh, got together with Thunder Bay. Thunder Bay came down to the Sioux and we scrimmaged with them, so. Oh, really? Wow. How was that? Were they tough, Thunder Bay? Actually, you know what? Uh, they were pretty tough. They're a good oh, yeah. team. They're a good bunch of girls. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, they were learning just like us. So uh -huh. we were pretty, yeah, pretty, pretty equal. Now in Sioux St. Marie, could you tell me about the beginnings? How did you uh, first get interested in Derby? And what are some of the other, uh, I guess, players or vets that came across the city to help you kickstart it up? Um, our first year we kind of, there was about six of us mm -hmm. that kind of came together and started getting things together. Okay. Um, we did a lot of research. Uh, Alyssa Kwanzi, mm -hmm. who is Georgia Tush. Um, oh, from Montreal. From Montreal. Yeah. She helped yeah. us out tremendously. Yeah. Uh, her and her girls came up, uh, a couple of skids came up and skated with us. And the skids are the best team in Canada, you they can't are. go wrong. They yeah. are, they are yeah. the best and yeah. we worship you, Georgia Tush, we do, we do. Yeah. Well actually what we were working on, you know, building walls, breaking walls, the blocking technique, we use a lot of the diamond, you know, just, just forming, getting the girls used to, you know, blocking and not letting the jammer through. That's basically what we're working on and, and you know, staying with the pack and Hopefully not to get too many penalties. Now the colors of Soup St. Marie, you get the hot pink and the <laughs> terrific logo. How did you uh, come up with hot pink? Well, we just kind of uh, said, what what's one thing that we're all gonna wear, that we're all gonna agree on, and we came up with this. Yeah. This is what we got, hot pink and athletic girl, not so cute, athletic, but gonna kick some butt, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. What are Sioux St. Marie's aspirations for next year? Do you think you'll be in the BC East or you want to get a bit slower? Uh, I would love to train to get uh -huh. up to the Beast of the East. Yeah. So we're gonna we're planning on running a program in the winter. Uh -huh. um, we have a really hard time with venues yeah. uh, during the winter months, but we're, we're looking to get something going, practice really hard, and maybe next year we will hit the Beast of the East. So I'm, I'm hoping. Awesome. I'm hoping. Well, good luck today. Well, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Awesome. <laughs>